Hi there, it's Jason Cole here again from Cole Studios. We have a uh, another tutorial for you guys. This time we're going to uh, we're going to play around with the wedding photo. So this is our original photo. Okay, notice we've got the uh, the bride. She's looking down at her dad. Just a great shot of the bride and her dad. And he's actually smoking. We actually zoom into this. We'll zoom in later. He's actually uh, smoking like a mascara pen or something. The reason we had to have him smoking a mascara pen is that we didn't have a cigar. So, but the whole reason we get him to do that is that when he smokes the mascara pen, he sort of gets his hand and his face and everything in the right shape to put the cigar in later. Okay, so that's the original shot. This is the finished shot. Okay, this is what we're going to end up with. So something, yeah, it looks really cool. You've got like the cracks in the wall, you've got the home sweet home sign, you've got the, you know, the woods are a little bit burnt, we've got rid of all the clutter at the bottom. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. So that's what we're going to end up with, all right? So let's get started. Okay, oh, we've got a couple of other props. We've got the cigar, which is a, uh, it's just a, a PNG, it's portable network graphics, so there's no background in the photo. We also got our little home suite home sign, which we uh, need a little bit of work on as well. All right, let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is open up the CR2. Remember, we always shoot raw. We're gonna go to the white balance. I'm gonna change the white balance to as shot, because I still want it, because I shot it with cloudy white balance, because I want it to be a little bit warm. Okay, we're gonna open that image up. Now notice it's created the, uh, the XMP file again. Okay, now the first thing we're gonna do before we do anything else is this cigar, so we're gonna hit the Z key, we're going to zoom into the cigar. Now if you have a look, see this cigar is like some sort of, oh, what is a mascara, or whatever, some sort of makeup brush or something. We're going to drop the cigar into here. Okay, now it's way too big, so we're going to go Command minus to make it a little bit smaller. We're going to get, now because we've already got transform on, up in the, uh, the top corner, I'll come back to this, but there's a free transform button which we always leave on. So we're going to hold Shift and Option down. We're going to make this smaller probably to about there, looks pretty good. Then we're going to rotate it. Notice we put the brush around to the side to rotate. Going to rotate this around to about, yeah, probably about there. Push this back to about here. Yeah, now the cigar is obviously a little bit too thick, so we're going to hold down Shift and Option and just make it a little bit smaller again. Probably to about there. And again, we're going to push it over to here. About there, now we're going to hit Enter. And what Enter does, Enter commits it. Now obviously, you know, it doesn't look right yet. Now the trick here, you right click on the layer, rasterize the layer so we can edit it. Then we're gonna change the opacity, just for now, back to 50%. Okay, now we're gonna hit the Z key again to zoom. Now we're gonna zoom in. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a look and see, hit the V key. We're just gonna make sure this, yep, that mascara pen is covered. Gonna do Command T to transform it, and tilt, tilt it a little bit. What I'm looking at here is down on here. You can still see some of the pen down there. So we're going to drop that down. So okay, what we need to do, we need to thicken it a little bit more. So we're going to thicken it. All I'm doing, I'm actually tra just transforming up and down. It's thickening the cigar, but that's okay. It's okay, it's going to be a little bit out of shape, but you're not going to notice it. Okay, turn that to there. Drop this down to here. Okay, beautiful, hit enter to commit it. Now, now with this, now you can see the shape, you can see where the fingers are supposed to be, you can see where the mouth is supposed to be, like you can see the actual shape. We're going to hit the eraser tool, which is E, and we're just going to literally go like this and erase it. Now I know you, you know, you should, probably should use a mask to do this, so you can, you know, if you stuff it up, you can uh, you can come back, but, you know, because I've done it so many times, I don't really worry about the mask, but, you know, technically you really should use a mask, but that's a, that's another tutorial. Okay, get back to here. Beautiful. Okay, so all we've done there is just erased the, uh, the part that we don't need, okay, looks pretty good. So we're gonna go back over here to the opacity, put the opacity back up to 100%. There we go, he's smoking a cigar. Now we're gonna go Command M, okay, which is curves. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna darken the cigar a little bit so it's not too, see there, just darken it. So now the cigar is actually looking a little bit more like a cigar. Okay, Command Zero. All right, there's a cigar put in, that's the first part. Now we're gonna flatten the, uh, the image, so you go layer, flatten image or command shift D. Okay, there you go, it's the first button. Now next thing we're gonna do is gonna clean up this floor down here. So we're gonna hit our clone tool, which is S. We're gonna hit our brackets to make it a little bit bigger. Hit zero, because we want we don't want any opacity. And we're gonna click on that line there and we're gonna match it up about roughly where the other line sits, about there, there's the line. Just hold your button down and then just click like that. Yep, there you go, that's half of it gone. Then we're gonna do it over here again. We've hit that line, we're going to match up the line, which is about there. Go down. That's it, cool. One more, we're going to make the brackets a little bit smaller for this one, because we haven't got as much space to clone. And click there, over to here. OK, 
Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. So there you go, there's a floral coin. I actually like this scratch down here, so I'm not going to worry about that scratch there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is put the home sweet home sign in. So what we're going to do, we're going to drop the home sweet home sign there. Okay, there, that's fine. Just hit enter to commit it. Right click on it, rasterize the layer. Now we're going to turn the bottom layer off and we're going to click select color range. We're going to select the white. Comes over, it's going to select the white. There you go, that's pretty good about there. Don't select too much of the sign, click OK. Shift F6 to feather, feather say three pixels is fine. And click delete twice. Command D to deselect. There's your sign selected without the uh, without all the, uh, the the white on it, okay? Now we're gonna hit V, which is the move tool. We're gonna put it up here. We're gonna hit Command T, and we're gonna rotate it a little bit. And then we're going to hold down Shift and Option, and we're gonna drop it in so it's a little bit smaller. Probably around about, probably there looks pretty good. Hit Enter to commit it. Now I don't like that, I don't like this. This doesn't look good like the uh, the string. So we're gonna hit E, and we're actually gonna erase that. And right click, make sure you've got a nice hard brush. Yes, we do. We're going to erase that because we're going to put another um, another sign in a little bit later. Now we're going to run across here like that. What I'm doing here, I'm just taking the, the white edges off because I want to make this look as real as I can. So we're going to get rid of those white edges. I'm just literally drawing this with the brush. There you go, it's looking better already. Command M. We're going to darken it just a little bit, not too much. Yeah, probably just down to about there. It's looking pretty good. Okay, now, there's the home suite, home sign. The next thing we're gonna do, we're going to work on the background here. We're gonna bring the background out more. So we've selected the background layer, and now we go filter, Nick software, the visa two. Okay, so we're gonna fire up for visa. Okay, it takes a couple of secs to, uh, to load up because it's a very big file, like it's a, uh, it's a five, uh, uh, sorry, a, um, a 21 megapixel file. So we're gonna load up for visa. And then what we're going to do with the visa, once the visa finally loads, we're going to do this area here and this area here. And uh, we're going to basically bring out all the detail and stuff. So we might even do it twice if the visa ever actually loads. Okay, I'm just waiting for the visa to load. Something might have gone wrong here, folks. Oh, no, here we go. We're up. We're up. doesn't usually take that long to load. It usually loads straight away. So we click Add Control Point clear control point here, I'm just doing it on the green. Now the beauty about the visa is when you add a control point, it will only affect that green, only affect this area here, it won't affect anything else in the photo. We're gonna bring the structure right up. Okay, see that you lose it there. The other way, bang, maximum structure. Okay, so you always try both ends of the scale. So there, we can actually take it out all together if you wanted to, but obviously we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna go right up to 100%, so really bring the structure in here. Do another one down here on the, uh, the wood. Again, let's bring it right up, the size of it right up, and now let's go to the structure here, right? And what, notice the um, like the the contrast is really coming out too. Maybe drop the brightness a little bit as well of the wood, yep, and possibly the saturation. Pull the saturation out a little bit too. So now you can you can also change before you commit it. You click back on the uh, the circle and change it again. So let's go just drop the brightness of that down. See just a little bit. We want to drop it down, yep. But one more control point because it's different. This wood here is a little bit uh, different color and uh, contrast to the wood over here. So we're going to do a, a second one over here. We're going to put it full size. We're going to drop the brightness a little bit. We're going to increase the structure. There you go. See, so you got that real nice grain in the wood, like the wood's really popping out. And you click OK. Okay. Now you'll see it'll um, it'll all pop in, and you'll get that really nice detail. It'll come back in the wall in a minute. Let's wait for the visa. The visa is a pretty complex filter, so it takes it a while to work. Okay, there's the detail on the wall. Yeah, looking pretty good. Now we're going to go, what we do, we're going to flatten those three layers. So you hold shift down, click all three layers, and then you right click and you click merge layers. Okay, when the computer finally catches up. The computer seems to be a little bit slow this morning, it's not usually this slow. Okay, what we're going to do, it's going to, the reason I'm going to flatten the layers is because I'm actually going to apply the filter a second time. And when we apply the filter a second time, it'll bring out all this detail up here. It'll really bring that detail out. So we're going to do, 
We're going to okay, go to right click and click merge layers. That's merge those three layers. Now, if you go Command F again, it will bring it'll it'll do the filter a second time over the uh, like the green. That be notice it's not affecting the bride or the bride's dad. Okay, it's just that. So they're really bringing it out now. Now, one other thing I've noticed down here is a sock. See the sock down here? We don't like how he's, the sock's not long enough. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit S as the clone tool. I'm going to hold down Option to select my source point. Move my mouse up to where I want to start cloning. Then let go of the uh, Option key. And we're just going to clone that across, just like that. Okay, so now his sock goes to full size. Beautiful. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little... a um, uh, like a string on the home sweet home sign. So what we're going to do, we're going to click this tool up here, okay, which is the uh, the polygon lasso tool. And now what I need to do, I'm going to select a new layer, but it needs to be underneath the sign layer. We're just going to go, we're going to draw a line from here, down to behind the sign, across to behind the sign, and back up to here, like that. Now that's your string, but we need to fill it in, so we're going to go edit, stroke, Okay, going to say five pixels, but oh, we want black, not white for the string. And click OK. And click OK again. Now what that's done, you hit Command D, there's your um, there's your line. Okay, so we've just put basically the string in. Okay, now with that layer, drop the opacity a little bit. See, probably to about, yeah, you know, I'd say 50% is fine. That way it's a little bit see-through, so it sort of blends in a little bit better with the, uh, with the rest of the image. Okay, now if we have a look at our original image, sorry, our finished image, we're starting to get you know, pretty close to our finished image now. It's all the, uh, the background's done, but we've got a little bit more work to go yet. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, so what we're going to do now, the next thing, we're going to flatten image. So flatten image, we're going to click the brush tool. We're going to go up here, and we're going to find our crack brush. Now, all I did, I just typed in crack brush into DeviantArt, and these, these brushes come up, so they're really easy to find. I'm going to go back over to here, Going to use the bracket keys to make it a little bit bigger, and I sort of get off to the edges a little bit so the crack goes out of the um, the, the picture. Okay, okay, and then we all we're going to do we're literally just going to click here and we're going to put some cracks in the the wall. The whole idea of putting the cracks in the wall is it makes the image look a little bit more like realistic and gothic. So there's some cracks there. Maybe come over here, put a couple more in. Oops, Command Z, undo that. Now for some reason it's actually caught. Okay, we'll just do that one again. Let's put one here. That's better. And over here. For some reason, it, it actually thought that I was... It, it The computer is running a little bit slow today for some reason. Not sure what's actually going on with it, but it's actually caught and it hasn't realized I've de-clicked. So when I've moved it across to click, it's pulled it right across. Anything you do like that, all you do, Command Z and undo it. Okay, click another one over here, which is pretty cool. It's looking good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to select a different brush this time. So we're going to select that maybe this crack here looks pretty good. And we're going to put another one over the top here. Just set, there you go. That's looking pretty good. And we're going to go one more. Okay, go down the bottom down here maybe. Maybe this one. Because what I want to do on the home sweet home sign, I want to put a crack on that one, on the actual sign. There you go. Just to make it sort of blend in a little bit more too. Now again, we can use this tool over here, like the the selection, the uh, sorry, the brush properties tool, and go over here. And we can turn this brush around. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Down there, put it maybe cracked on the floor. It's looking pretty good. Okay, yeah, looks pretty good all up. Okay, so we go make sure. Okay, our layers flattened. Now this is the next one. So now we're going to go filter Nick software silver effects. Now you watch this, folks. This is really cool. Okay, so we're going to go to silver effects. Silver effects is like the black and white program of color effects. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to go down, down here. See there, now this bottom one down here, let's go down just a touch. This bottom one in high structure, my favorite Photoshop filter, high structure. Click OK. All right, and up comes a, uh, look, this, this will be a really, really strong contrast filter, but it's black and white, so we've lost all our beautiful color in there. Okay, so what we do, we go normal, overlay okay there's your overlay now the problem with this is though is like you want the bride to look really like you know glamorous and like really smooth and her skin there because of the overlay and the contrast her skin's gone really oops command z to undo that one her skin's gone like really sort of grainy so what we're going to do we're going to delete that layer i'm deliberately doing this folks because i want to i want to show you my sort of thought process what we're going to do first we're going to skin smooth her so we go filter nick software color effects 
Okay, we're going to go dynamic skin softener. This is a great way of softening skin. Click on the uh, on the the um, color picker tool and click the bride skin. Bang, just like that. And what that'll do, that'll smooth her skin right out. She's got really nice skin already, but this will really smooth it out, ready for the uh, the the next process. Click OK, and the skin will smooth right out. What I'll do is I'll zoom in when this updates. I'll zoom into the skin so you can get a little bit of an idea of of what I'm talking about. I'm going to go right in nice and tight. Okay, we're going to click the brush. We're just going to change brushes to a back to a normal brush. Okay, back to a normal brush. That's good. Okay, we're going to zoom. Now see there, this, that's the that's after doing the skin smoothing. Okay. Before, afters, before, that's after. So it just takes off like, any little blemishes and stuff. Command zero to go back to full size. Okay, we're gonna go layer, flatten image, and now we're gonna go back to the last filter. So we go filter, Nick software, silver effects. Silver effects is part of the Nick software um, range of, of uh, plugins. Awesome software, absolutely awesome software. Definitely recommend it. Go down here, so we're gonna scroll down over to here. We're gonna go down to a little bit more, go down to high structure. High structure really brings the contrast out. Click OK. Now, when, now what this is going to do, it's going to make the whole photo black and white. Now, we don't want the whole photo black and white. Obviously, we love the color, the beautiful color and stuff in the photo, so we don't want it black and white, but we want the contrast. The beauty about any layer, that you, any sort of effect that you do, if you want the effect, but without, the, you know, without say, the black and white, you go normal, and then overlay, and notice how we've, and now we've got the color, but it's real contrasty. And then all you do, you just to take out some of that, drop the opacity right back. So see, I drop the opacity back to maybe, I don't know, it looks pretty good, say 40%. So now we're starting to get a nice moody shot. Looks pretty good. Go layer, flatten image again. Go over here. This time what we're going to, we're going to vignette a little bit around the outside. So click to here. What we're doing is drawing a little circle around the outside. And what that'll do, that'll drop. Notice the curved edges, because I've got the 250 feather, it curves the edges. If I had a naught feather, it'd be a hard edge. Now then you go Shift, Command, I to invert the selection because we want to work on the outside, not the inside. Command M. What that does, that's the, uh, the curves. So we drop the curves down. Back to here. And notice, because we've darkened the area, Command D, because we've darkened the outside area, it brings us into the focus in the middle. What we're also going to do, we're going to right click over on the Burn tool. We're going to go to mid-tones. I just want to darken this area just down here. I just don't really like that area. I think that area is too bright. Oops. Area is too bright. That's better. Now, the last thing I want to do is the bride's dress. So, we're going to go filter, Nick software, Viviza 2. Now, the cool thing about Viviza is you can Viviza anything. It doesn't have to be like the sky. It can be any color. So, we're going to click on the bride's dress. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And we're going to go structure. And notice that, so you see all the detail we just brought out in that dress? Just like that. As simple as that. Click OK. OK, you'll see the Viviza. Now, I mean, the dress looks nice like that, but when the Viviza filter pops in, you'll uh, you'll really see the detail come in. Oh, look at that. I mean, how much better is that? Um, the bride's flowers, we might brighten them up too, so we'll go to the Dodge tool. Uh, first of all, we're going to go Layer, Flatten Image, um, go to the Dodge tool. The Dodge tool brightens. Now, so we're just brightening the bouquet a little bit here. Okay, dodge tool. Maybe that dad's bouquet a little bit as well. Like his, sorry, his um, his flower a little bit too. Okay, now one more thing I want to do. So I think I just want to zoom into the actual bride. Okay, now this is grainy, but it's supposed to be grainy. Okay, so yep. Full screen. Hit the J key. The J key is the clone tool. All right. Now we're just going to go. Oh, sorry, not the clone tool. The spot removing brush. So we're just going to remove. Clean up, it's got a couple of little freckles and stuff we're going to clean up. Okay. Go down here. Command zero to go back to full screen. There you go, folks. I think that's pretty good. There's not too much more I can do there. I've done the home sweet home sign. Okay, let's have a look again as opposed to the, um, oops, go back to here. Let's have a look at the our sample shot. Uh, turn the brush palette off. Okay, let's have a look at our sample shot. Yep. Yeah, pretty close. Maybe the sample shot might be a little bit brighter, but that's okay. A little bit dark is fine. Okay, look at everything else. Yep, everything else looks really good. There you go, folks. So that's how you do your 
that's how you do this image, that's how you do this particular image. Um, any questions, shoot me off an email to info at colstudios.com.au and um, yeah, we'll see you soon on our YouTube channel, JCP DVD. Thanks again for watching folks, cheers.